So we actually got to go inside the tower. So this video wasn't a total bust. My name is Ben, Ben Lawrence. We drove about an hour and a half to today's location to go explore a pretty sick castle. We thought it was going to be open, but when we got here, we were greeted by a sign that crushed our dreams of exploring Bancroft Castle. We were walking up, getting ready to document the inside of the tower, and then we were greeted by this wonderful sign right here. Looks like we are not getting inside the tower today. They have closed it due to weather. And uh, I'm, no, I'm no weatherman, but it is a little bit cloudy. But there is uh, no weather that would prohibit us from entering the tower, so. I don't know why it's closed, but it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So instead of just leaving and not doing a video, why don't we just walk around, we'll check out the outside and go over a brief history of Bancroft Tower. Bancroft Tower looks like it was built hundreds of years ago, but it was actually built in 1900 by a man named Stephen Salisbury III in honor of his father's friend, George Bancroft. The tower was owned by Stephen Salisbury until 1907 when he passed away and the tower was handed over to the Worcester Art Museum. Then in 1912, the Art Museum donated the tower to the Parks Department. Now the tower is only open to the public on certain days during the fall and we thought today it was open but unfortunately due to the weather it's closed today originally we want to go inside and document the inside but like I said it's closed today so let's just wander around and go check out the outside of Bancroft Tower this tower is very tall but it is not very wide it almost reminds me of like a Hollywood facade for like a movie because literally that's as far back as it goes but it goes very high up just not very far back. This thing really is amazing. I mean, just staring at this thing, it's crazy to think this was built in 1900, literally by hand. They hauled all the rocks up here by horses and had to put this thing together. I don't know why, but I always compare locations like this to things from movies or TV shows. This side kind of reminds me of like Winterfell from Game of Thrones. Like I feel like Ned Stark's just gonna come out of here. Like this is like the entrance to like Jon Snow's bedroom or something right in there. I don't know, this reminds me of like Winterfell. I always compare things. I'm sure it's pretty annoying, but that's just how my mind works. Always comparing things to like TV shows or mostly Disneyland. But in this case, this reminds me of Winterfell. Like especially that tower up at the top really reminds me of the top of Winterfell from Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. But he's about to scale the walls of Winterfell right here. Ba -na 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 -na. Like, no, we're gonna get copyrighted. You think you can scale, like, if Ramsey Bolton was inside there and you were about to marry Sansa Stark, do you think you could make it? I could definitely make it for Sansa. You could do it for Sansa. Do it for, do, do it for the, don't do it for the vlog, do it for Sansa. Do it for Sansa. -na 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 -na. <laughs> this actually looks like an action shot, ready? Like, pose right there. Do it for Sansa, Stanley. You gotta, you gotta marry her. Nope, nope, you fail. You don't, you don't get the girl. The entrance to the inside of the tower is through this archway. This really reminds me of something out of like Fantasyland. Like I feel like I'm going in Snow White's Scary Adventure. But this is the door. You would go through here to get inside. And as you can see, if we take a peek in, there's all kinds of cool little like windows and stuff. And we can't get past this, uh, this big door is not opening for us. And there's also a lock right there on the door. There's another door on this side right behind Cool Stanley. This one, we can get a better peek inside the tower. This looks like a, a fireplace area right here. And you can just see, I, you can't really see, but it just goes to pitch black up there. But this is one of the little rooms inside the tower. I don't know, this looks like a jail, to be completely honest. It's got these like iron doors and iron windows, all these little benches. This looks like the, the prison for the castle. That's what we'll call it. This is the other side of the tower where you can get a good look at that main tower portion right there. That thing looks so sick. Straight up castle right here. I don't, I don't even know what to say for this video. Like I had such a script, I had everything planned out and then now, now we're screwed. <laughs> like I just literally keep saying, ooh, like look at this. Like here's some rocks, like check this out. This was, uh, this was an absolute fail. So I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. I think it's gonna turn out like garbage, but you know, what can you do when you get to the location that you're gonna film at and say it's closed. And this is literally our only day to film this week. So, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta just document a, a giant stone tower. And look, we can, get, we can get real close 
and just check out, look at all the rocks. So the maintenance man literally just left the tower after leaf blowing the inside. And he just so happened to leave this door open. I don't know if he did it on purpose. I don't know if he did it by accident, but we're going in. So this wasn't a total bust because we get to see the inside of the little jail room that I showed earlier with this cool fireplace right here, as well as these benches. I, I don't know what this room was for. Maybe this was kind of like to heat the whole place. I don't know, I could be wrong. I know nothing about castle structures. You'd think I would, being a, a fan of this kind of stuff, but I know nothing about castle structures, but it is cool to actually get inside one of the, the rooms here. And I noticed this, just looking around on the wall there. It says 1900, the year that this was built. As I was exiting, I just noticed this weird, like, steel thing right here. I don't know what these, like, bars are for. Maybe this was like to hold the weapons or something. I don't think this was like a fortress. I literally think this was just like a cool castle someone built. But who knows, that could have been for the weapons. But we're gonna head out. Maybe by accident he left this door open. It's worth a shot, right? It's worth a shot, but nope. Nope, it's locked. We'll get one peek inside here. You can see the, uh, the cool stairs leading up to the top of the tower. This reminds me of Maleficent's castle, like when Prince Philip's in the in the jail cell. You can see the stairs that lead up. Really cool, I wish, I wish we were allowed inside there. But unfortunately, we are not, as I've stated many times before. Slippery for the kids later on. All right, we'll go, we'll go test it out. I think, yeah, I think we can handle it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Go ahead. All right, we'll, we'll test it out and make sure that it's uh, all good. <laughs> Yo. So we were literally just standing outside, and the maintenance man, I guess that's who he is, literally just invited us to go inside the tower. So we actually got to go inside the tower. So this video wasn't a total bust. This was an adventure for sure, but I don't want to waste time. I don't want to keep him waiting, so let's go and walk around the tower. I'm so pumped right now. This is so sick. Let's continue on up these steps. We're supposed to be his helpers, making sure that it's not too slippery for the guests coming in later. But this is so sick, getting to come inside Bancroft Tower, making our way all the way to the top of this amazing stone structure. Now we're making our way to the area that goes across the archway and we can look down at all the people who came to check out the tower, but we are actually the only ones inside. Here's that main room above the fireplace room, and there's actually another fireplace and more little sitting areas. Maybe this was like the guest room, the living room area. Steven Salisbury would throw a big flat screen right over there above the fireplace. This was his living room. This was his hangout spot for sure. Let's go up to the way top of the tower. There's so many stairs inside here. This is so sick though. Like this straight up looks like Winterfell. Like you just think like, oh, let's go on out here. Like go get the archers ready. Yo, this is so sick. This is insane. Let's go, let's go up these. These are steep stairs, but let's go up and go check out the way top of the tower. Oh man, yo, dude, this is so sick. This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that we're up here right now. I, I, I honestly didn't think after we saw the sign that we were gonna get up here. Now we can get a better look at that tower portion right there. Let's go over there and go see what's going on on the other side of the tower. Oh, there's stairs way to the top. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. But first, let's check out, ooh, a little, maybe this is like the eating area. This is their dining room. But here's another view of the city of Worcester off in the distance and just more cool castle stuff. This is so sick, man. I, I can't believe we're up here right now. Let's go up way to the top. These stairs remind me like the stairs of the Nautilus. 
Let's try to go up these without dropping the camera. This is hard to do while vlogging, but no one else is doing this, so we gotta be the ones to do it. Vlog going up a spiral staircase on the top of the castle. That's probably something you've never heard on YouTube before. You can get a sick 360 view over the entire Worcester area with Stanley's big head in the way, but full 360. I need a 360 camera to get the full effect. I apologize to anyone who just got motion sickness from that, but I wanted to show off this amazing 360 view that you get up here on the top of the tower. But let's make our way back down and just keep checking out this amazing structure. Heading down the spiral staircase is pretty dangerous because it is really slippery in here. But we made it back to the tower. This just, look at this view. Like this is something like you don't get in like Massachusetts is a view of a castle like this. I'm just gonna take this in for a second, because that's amazing. I kept stepping on this weird groove in the ground and I just realized what it was. So it's for when it rains, the water goes all the way down here and then through that and it drips out. So there's no water up here. So it's like a drain for the water to go down, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of sick. I like how like they put that in so it didn't get too flooded up here. Now we are making our descent back down to the bottom of Bancroft Tower down the uh, treacherous, sort of slippery stairs. They're drying out a little bit, but it is still pretty treacherous. I just love the way this looks. I'm gonna say it a thousand times, but this really doesn't look like something from Massachusetts. This looks like something from Ireland or like the UK. Really cool experience getting to explore this castle. We have made it back to the entrance. Is it all safe? It's all safe, thank you so thank much. You. Absolutely amazing. I cannot believe we just got inside Bancroft Tower. That was a sick experience. I still, I'm blown away. What a nice guy. What a cat. What a cat. There it is. One last look at Bancroft Tower. I can't believe we actually got inside after walking around for about 20 minutes just trying to document the outside. <laughs> we actually got inside and shout out to the guy who let us inside. I didn't catch his name but he's a true cat, so thanks for letting us inside, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us as we went and checked out Bancroft Tower. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you wanna see more adventures from cool places all over New England, make sure to hit the subscribe button. by a man named Stephen Salisbury III in honor of his father's friend, George Bancroft. The tower was owned by Stephen Salisbury until he passed away in 1907, and it was handed over to the Worcester Art Museum. The tower is only open on select days. Hey. <laughs> then in 1912, the art, then in 1912, the art museum donated to the tower. Donated the Donated the tower. Donut. <laughs> The entranceway inside the tower is through this very cool arch. It almost reminds me of something out of like Fantasyland. Now this tower is very tall, but you'd think that it goes way far back. No, nope, that was dumb. Right at the entrance, they have this little plaque on the ground, giving you a little bit of a brief description all about Bancroft Tower. Here's the other side of the tower. You can get a good look at the main tower. Oh, that, that background, that main tower. That looks like a, I keep saying that. One cool thing they have on the back side of the tower is this like little map that tells you where all these like significant mountains are in the area. So like if we if we went straight this way, we would run into Mount Wachusett. That's kind of cool. I don't know what you'd call this thing, but here it is on the ground on the back side of Bancroft Tower. There's a shot. There it is, the entire Bancroft Tower. The tower that we were never meant to go inside it, apparently. Nope, that was really, really stupid. One thing I kind of forgot to mention was these weird, like, stone structures here at the entrance. I don't know what these things are, but they are like little mini castles with these strange tables. They look like sacrifice tables. Tresh, are these sacrifice tables up here? I don't know what these things are, but they look like they could be sacrifice tables. These are actually uh, kind of cool. We'll go check out that one. Like I said, I have no idea what they are, but they're still kind of cool looking. This is that other weird stone structure pillar looking thing 
that's towards the entrance. This one has a full table. I don't know if the other one like cracked or something, but this one is actually a full circle. And like I said, I have no idea what this thing is, but it's pretty cool and you actually can get a much better view of the entire tower. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it. This was quite an interesting adventure and got off to a rocky start, but we actually got to go inside and check off Bancroft Tower, and I can't believe we got to document it. I'm super excited, and yeah, that, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. If you want to support the channel, check out benlawrence.spreadshirt.com in the links down below. Get yourself a sweet Ben Lawrence t-shirt shipped anywhere in the world, any size, any color, customize them, do whatever you want. They're pretty sick. Go check them out. Link below. We also have Patreon. You can support us there too. And I will see you next week in the next adventure. Wah!